On the same ranch, Mike was still the, the, uh, the ranch manager down there, and, and some kinfolk of the owners come down. And um, anyway, this one kid, he wanted to be a cowboy, and he could ride and everything. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't no greenhorn or anything, but he wasn't necessarily a cowboy either. And so he spent some days working with the cowboys, and I think he was like 14 or 15 years old, something like that and everything. And so anyway, he was kind of down for the summer, and the ranch owner had to go out of town, and he told him, he said, you watch after my kin right there. I don't remember what, he's a nephew or something like that. I don't remember. Mike was like, yeah, and so, you know, the owner's out of town, his family's there, you know, it's just Mike and the, and the, and the little kid, and, or the young boy, and all of this stuff. Well, Mike had to go to the cell about two hours away to the cow cell, and the kid had asked, he said, can I go move, uh, move those steers with him? He's like, yeah, you know, ride your good horse and everything like that. And Mike's at the cell, and that guy's up there, and he's like, bee, 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 bee. and then they stop and say, Mike McMurray, you've got a call on line one, please go to the office. Mike was like, this is before cell phones. Cell phones hadn't been around forever, kids. <laughs> I don't remember it, but uh, this is Mike's story, not mine. And so Mike goes and he picks up the phone and he says, hello? <laughs> and one of, the, one of the cowboys says, hey, Mikey. He's like, hey, Waddy. He said, the horse fell and broke the kid's leg. He said, do what? And he said, yeah, the horse was going along by the... By the cement trough, and it stepped, and it slipped, and it fell on the cement and broke the kid's leg in half. He's like, well, oh, my gosh, what are you calling me for? He said, take the kid to the emergency room. He said, no, we took him to Pedro's. <laughs> he said, man, he's not, his back isn't out of alignment. His, are you sure his leg was broke? He said, oh, yeah, it was broke real bad. He said, well, why did you take him to Pedro's? He said, because Pedro's pretty good. He said, I don't care what you're doing. You drop everything right now. You go get that boy, and you get him to the emergency room. Ahora, now. Okay, Mikey, but Pedro's pretty. I don't want to hear it. So he hangs up the phone. Well, before he hangs up, he's like, you call me back as soon as you get to the hospital. Okay. So he hangs up the phone, and I mean, he's nervous. You know, and isn't that Murphy's Law? Just as soon as everybody leaves and everything Things just go to crap, right? <laughs> and so about, you know, 45 minutes later, the phone rings at the cell, and the lady answers it. She's like, yeah, hang on. She holds it out to Mike, and Mike grabs it, and he's like, he's like, man, how is he? Oh, he's doing good, man. He's doing good. He said, what did the emergency room say? They said, Pedro's pretty good. <laughs> That's a true story. They x-rayed his leg, and he had set it perfect and put a little... Homemade little cast on it and everything like that. And Pedro's pretty good. We're going to try to get Pedro's number up here. We don't need Obamacare. We need Pedro care. <laughs>